Okay, have you heard that I'm black hole? <laughs> I'm not. I uh, I've heard about it, but uh, can't uh, re- read about it. What is that black hole? But uh, uh, our sir say that it is <laughs> it is exist in uh, universe, but I can't uh, know about it. it is a region from where light is not able to ex- escape a black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so hard that even light cannot get out but black hole's gravity is so punishing because all that matter has been packed into a very tiny little space but as black holes are black and light cannot escape it people can't see black holes they are invisible but let's see what these physics students think about black holes black hole black hole is a position where all stars leave their energy Black hole is a very uh, concentrated mass of gravity. Yeah, it's a part of like uh, there is uh, no gravity, and the whole things uh, he take uh, inside him. A hole that consists of a lot of density. I think it's a space in the universe uh, which consists, which has a large amount of energy. Will our sun sun become a black hole? I don't know. Maybe one day. Do we have pictures of black holes? Little bit confused. Yeah, a black blob is a picture of a black hole. Yeah, we have so many pictures of black hole on internet. That all things are imaginary. Uh, so the pictures, I don't know. So how do we detect them if we can't see it? There are certain radiations of gravitation. There is a big bang. I'm sorry, not big bang. I'm sorry. Um, so we can guess there is a black hole which uh, swallows the whole universe. There, uh, I have no other idea. <laughs> how do we detect black holes? I don't know. Are this through machines? It's the work of scientists. We cannot see black holes, but we can detect their presence by measuring the effects on their surrounding objects. Because detecting black holes isn't like finding planets and stars. We cannot find black holes just by looking at them with telescope because they don't have any light. It would be just like you finding your keys in a room which has no lights on. But luckily, they have some features which enables us to locate them. Now, the first property of black holes is its mass. A black hole is pretty massive, so thus, by observing the gravitational effects on the surrounding bodies, we can check whether if there is a black hole or not. Now, for example, let's make our sun invisible. Now, if our sun would become invisible, all of these planets will behave exactly as they are doing right now. It is just our sun that has become invisible. Now, by measuring the effect of these planets, we can tell whether if there is something or not. Because why would these planets will go on these elliptical orbits if there is nothing there? So the process is pretty much the same for black holes. But for black holes, we look for the stars and gas clouds, and if check whether if there is a massive thing around them or not. Now, for example, if there is a gas cloud and it has a wobbling or a spinning motion, and there is no visible reason for that, and it also appears that it is more massive than three solar masses, so we can suspect that there is a black hole. In fact, this is how we detected Neptune gravitational density. Einstein's general theory of relativity predicted that gravity could bend space, and this was later confirmed during a solar eclipse, when the star's position was measured before, during, and after a solar eclipse. The star's position was shifted, and this was because the sun's gravity did bend the light. We can use this effect to detect black holes, because if there is a black hole between the Earth and the distant object, it is much likely that the black hole is likely to bend the light coming from the distant object and make it more distorted. For example, look at this image. A gravitational lens mirage, the gravity of luminous red galaxy, has gravitationally distorted the light from a much more distant blue galaxy. We can see here that the light itself is bending because the gravity of the galaxy, the instance where we could find so, such things nearby, we can look for black holes. Now remember when you entered the room to find your keys and it had no lights on? If you go with naked eyes, you may not see anything. But if you go with an infrared camera, you will have a complete different view. Something similar happens in a black hole. When material falls into a black hole from a companion star, it gets heated to millions of degrees Kelvin and accelerated. The superheated material emits X-rays which get 
to be detected by X-ray telescope such as orbiting the Chandra X-ray Observatory. In addition to the X-rays, black holes can also eject materials at very high speed in form of jets. Many of the galaxies have been observed with such jets and it is believed that most of these galaxies have a supermassive black holes at their centers. Of course, there are many more ways from which we could detect black holes but these are generally the most common ones. And finally guys, thanks for watching.